drives, we boom them here. See, I can trap them in here, and that drives them down. So that's why that works, because you can steer him with your hands as you throw him. Okay? And as later on as you come behind, you'll do some lifting throws, you'll find this grip very advantageous to you. Kodayashi Barai, we're going to do it first using the foot, and then we're going to work using a thigh sweep, okay? So what we're going to do is initially is this, guys. Come around here so you can see. Look, uh, what I want to do, uh, the grip I'm going to use is a bit unusual for a foot sweep. That's why this thing works. So I'm going to get my strong right hand here, like this grip here. Everybody see this? Okay. And the other hand on the sleeve. And when I start this on Jake, I'm going to come around. I'm going to be slightly behind him. So my right foot is slightly trailing. Let's turn around. Does everybody see how my flat right foot is trailing him like this? I'm about here. Because when I step across initially, I'm going to sweep. And then the second one, I'm going to thigh sweep here. So I want to, have, I want to close the space. It's a very close, compact style of a foot sweep. It's not common in judo, but it does work. So the, I'm going to start here. Now, we're not starting even. Today. We're not starting even. I'm starting here. Here's my starting point. And notice my foot is already going the direction I want to go. That's an important point. I don't want to stand this way. I want to stand this way. And that opens my hips. And when I step in, I step in, I can sweep. Okay? Well, first, we'll do it as a foot sweep. And the second, we'll do it as a thigh sweep. Okay? Can you sit in there? Go. There, that's beautiful. And you notice he controlled the whole landing. I mean, we're using a crash pad because it's a hard throw, okay? So let's look at that foot sweep first. When you're doing this as, as a step on your foot sweep, just watch me model up here. As I step in, I sweep. I, I'm using just a standard sliding foot sweep, sit after foot sweep movement like this. That's the first point. That's the reason I'm having you start with this because it'll make this easier. It'll make the thigh lift an easier throw. So when I get here, when I step in here, I step and I sweep. Just like that. Let's come around here from the side angle. You want to step in here? Come around here a little bit. Okay, you want to step in here? Step, sweep. Do that? So that's what I want to have you do first. That's the first level of it. Like that. Good. It's a sudden, fast foot sweep. A lot of people don't think a foot sweep is coming from that grip, and that's why it works. Okay, that's it. So could I ask you where I start? The second one is a sliding thigh sweep. So this time you use your thigh. So when he does use his thigh, he's going to make sure his hips are a little closer to his opponent. So he's got it in his mind. Now I'm going to really use the whole weight of this thigh sweep here. Now I'm going to be closer to my opponent, okay? And he'll use the thigh sweep with it. Bam, there you go. A lot of people will mistake the thigh sweep for a foot sweep but you're really using your hip and your thigh to throw your opponent. That's what's the, the sweeping action. And this leads also in a lot of other throws. You see a lot of the Mongolians and the Russians do with a lot of high lifting throws. This is the basis for doing those throws, to be able to do this. So that's why it's important to do it. When we... Let's look, look at those hands. So when you're, when you're using this grip, this grip works because, let me use it just for a second here. This, this grip here works, okay? Because what happens is I'm steering with this hand, too. So when I, when I, when I come in here and I do the side sweep and I throw, we're so close and I'm closing them in, I sweep and I take them down. If I were to hold him by just a lapel, that would allow him to turn his shoulder out. And I don't want that to happen. So when I throw him, and I get this, when I come in and do my thigh sweep, boom, I'm here. See, I can trap them in here, and that drives them down. So that's why that works, because you can steer him with your hands as you throw him. Okay? And as later on as you come behind, you'll do some lifting throws, you'll find this grip very advantageous to you. It really, it really will. So and the same thing with a foot sweep is the Kodayashi Barai. If I'm just doing a standard 
like foot sweep like this, I'm still going to step and I'm still going to close them in because what happens when I do that, it helps me lift them. Okay, so so this coming, the sweeping action helps between the movement and the foot and the lifting, and I can just take them, and boom, take them right down. So that grip really is a good one. Nobody expects it. You know, a good good athlete will expect it, but this is not a normal grip for a, a sliding Kodayashi Barai send after foot sweep. And you close them in here, and now you see how much when you do a thigh sweep, how much hips and legs you're using too. Can you guys just take turns throwing each other with it? Jake, why don't you go first? You're on, on tap first. Just do the thigh sweep. Just do the thigh sweep. See how it works? It's movement and getting a thigh and thigh and the hip. They're connected. And it's a very powerful throw. It's a very powerful throw. And it's not a power throw like monster grip, you know, super strength. It's all timing. Good. There you go. And they're being nice to each other. They're not burying each other. One more each and we're good. Okay, so, so watch the movement. Watch the movement and watch his hips. Boom, that was nice. And then also watch the hands as he finishes, okay? Because he's steering them with the hands. So the, the lifting and movement action are all in one.